In this lecture, I will show you how to construct bar graph using Microsoft Excel. Let us continue with our shoe brand example. So this is the data that we are given. Select the data, click on insert, go to column. In 2D column, select the left most chart. And that's it. This is the first layout of your bar graph. Let's make some changes in this bar graph. So this is the first draft of your bar graph. If you want to change the color, you can change it from here. Any color that you like. So for now, let's use the red color. And this bar graph is incomplete right now because we do not have the axis title and the chart title. Without the titles, it is impossible to interpret this bar graph. So let's add the titles. To add the titles, go to chart layout and select the layout number nine this one let's delete this and now we have got an option to add chart title axis title on the vertical axis and axis title on the horizontal axis let's edit the titles so this is shoe brand this is frequency and let's say this is bar graph of shoe brand preferences You can also adjust the size of the bar graph like this. Going to the chart layout and selecting the chart layout number nine is one method to add the axis title and the chart title. You can also add it manually. Let me show you that. So let's delete this title, horizontal axis title. Now go to layout, go to axis title, primary horizontal axis title and title below axis. And here you have got your option and we can again rename this to shoe brand. Similarly, you can also add the chart title from here and the axis title for the vertical axis from here. You can also format your vertical axis if you want to. For example, right now the gap in the numbers is two. If you want to change this gap, then just right click and go to format axis. And in the axis options, go to major unit and replace two by five, close. So now you have frequency at an interval of five. Also, if you want to remove these lines, these lines are called grid lines. You can just select the grid lines and press delete. And if you want to insert it back, you can choose this option here and you can insert it from here. 